this project, I'm using some ceiling fan blades and then this large wood piece that I honestly don't even know what it is. I found all this stuff at the Goodwill Clearance Center and I just thought it was perfect for a dragonfly body. So the first thing I'm gonna do is paint everything with a matte metallic paint. Once the paint is dried, now I can move on to my um, ultra metallic vinyl. So the body was pretty easy. I could just measure out the rectangle there and then cut the piece of vinyl that I wanted. And then it was just a matter of cutting it up into geometric shapes. I decided first I was going to make four sections and then I was going to cut each of those sections into different pieces and then all I had to do was peel and stick them on the wood to create the design that I was hoping to make. I actually looked at a lot of dragonfly pictures to kind of figure out what I wanted to do to distinguish the top part of the body from the bottom. And I've noticed that um, certain dragonflies had what looked like a black line down the middle. And so when I put the pieces on for the lower section, I left a gap to create kind of a line to mimic what a real dragonfly looks like. I just love the way this metallic vinyl looks. Can you see all that shine? Now let's get started on the wings. First, I used a piece of white chalk to draw my outline, and then I cut a ton of little strips of vinyl that I used to cover up the chalk lines with and make my outline. Once you're done outlining, just use a cloth and wipe off that white chalk. Now, for the more challenging part. Put a good movie on or some music because you're gonna be sitting and cutting and sticking for a while. I found that what was easiest was to cut a piece of vinyl that roughly mimicked the shape that I was filling. And then I could just cut sections off and keep trimming them until they fit the way I wanted them to fit. So it was a lot of measuring, cutting, sticking until one section was done and then I could move on to the next color. Isn't it pretty? I just love the glitter. 
And finally, the last piece. Now let's give this dragonfly some eyes. I just traced a circle onto the backing and then cut it out and peeled and stuck it on. And now I'm just gonna use my tool to smooth out any air bubbles and make sure this is sticking really well. All that's left to do is drill the wings into the body. And all done. This was a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. I just love the way it turned out.